How's it going out there, everybody? Welcome to another Hot Reacts Only. Today, we're going to be looking at R. Kelly's Gotham City. Now, this was another movie tie-in song for 1997's Batman and Robin, directed by Joel Schumacher. Rest in peace, buddy. You seem kind of weird, but rest in peace. Anyways, uh, I've never seen this music video before. I've never even heard the song before, so this is going to be a lot like... Um, Deepest Bluish Shark Fin, the LL Cool J Deep Blue Sea tie-in song. I have no idea what we're getting into. I have no idea what's on offering here. It could be good. It could be bad. It could have interesting th things to say. I could never upload this. We don't know. We don't know yet. It's just a mystery right now. Uh, but yeah, it's directed by Hype Williams, and apparently it even broke into the top ten. I went and looked a little Wikipedia because I was just like, I was so shocked to find this song. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck is this? What a beautiful gift. What a beautiful gift for the hot reacts. <laughs> hot reacts only. I've been drinking a little bit. Hot reacts only community. So let's just get into it. Let's just start it off. Let's see what we got here. Got them city for the ghetto, ghetto. So right off, off the bat, now we're getting into... Social politics, Gotham City for the ghetto. Now, Gotham City is a big city, wide, expansive. People of all walks of life live in Gotham City, just like any other city. So I'm curious what this means. Does he mean like the symbolic, the mythological kind of Camelot notion of Gotham that maybe people have in their heads, just in the same way that somebody from a small town or maybe from the ghetto would have about some sort of far off place where they can make their fortune. They can find success and live again. I don't know. Pretty deep stuff, guys. We're already started. This is already very, very controversial, very edgy. Probably going to be about socioeconomics. Let's find out. Got them city for the ghetto, ghetto. Yo, yo, everybody's talking about the good old days, the good old days. Everybody's talking about the good old days. So, everybody's talking about the good old days, and then we cut back to this Batman car, the Batmobile, forgive me. And is this what he's trying to imply? That maybe that Gotham City at this point, for the ghetto, is kind of thinking back on more wistful times. Times of success and power. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about this sweet hoopty that maybe R. Kelly used to have. I don't know. Time of heroes. Nostalgia. Before you get kind of strung up and muddled in the world that we live in today. You know? I remember when me and my brothers, we used to sit up on the porch in the summertime and just talk about just making it, you know what I'm saying? Being successful, following out our dreams, you know? So I'm going to say that my first reaction to Gotham City for the ghetto seems correct. Because he's talking about, you know, aspirational things. Dreams. I think that's pretty, I kind of nailed it within 10 seconds. Kind of nailed the theme of the song. And I guess the Batmobile being connected to that. This 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 castle on the hill. Camelot. Success. Making it out. Becoming a hero of your own life, maybe. Maybe that's what Kelly's getting at. Let's find out. I believe that's every kid's dream. You know what I'm saying? To rise and be somebody, but damn. Sometimes we just get caught up. I ain't got no money. <laughs> and I ain't got no friends. Like, why? Like, you know, R. Kelly, huge artist, right? So he's obviously been, they've asked him, like, hey, can you provide a song for the soundtrack of Batman and Robin? Warner Brothers, big 1997 summer, summer blockbuster event. And he's like, sure. Sure, I'll write you a song. Now, he's doing this bullshit. Now, LL Cool J, he's like he invested in the project itself. Maybe that's a lack of imagination on LL's part, though, because R. Kelly is kind of taking a more abstract notion of like what 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 that means to write a song for Batman. 
He wants to talk about like, you know, coming up, maybe idolizing somebody like a Bruce Wayne type figure. Maybe we'll find out. So, yeah, let's see. Looks like my world is coming to an end. Like, it's very serious for, <laughs> for a song that's on the soundtrack for Batman and Robin. I cannot stress this enough. This is the one of the goofiest Batman movies ever made, um, especially with that kind of a budget, right? I mean, it's basically an Adam West Batman movie made in the 90s uh, with a giant budget and giant stars, or at least up-and-comers. No food on the table. No clothes on my back. Like, this is very dire. This is very sad. You know, he's coming from these people that live in the ghettos. I don't know. I don't feel like he's really vibing with the movie and like having shots of the bat symbol and then the bat car, the Batmobile. I'm sorry. <laughs> the bat car, the Batmobile. Seems a little weird. Considering what he's talking about, like he's just like, oh, well. Oh, Kelly, um, hey, how's it going on? Uh, Warner Brothers producer guy, can you just like, uh, could you tie it into Batman and somehow? He's like, where's Batman from, dog? Oh, he's from Gotham City. Oh, what's he got? What's he drive? He drives a, a bat car. And they'd be like, no, man, he drives a Batmobile. Oh, of the Batmobile. Little odd. Little odd. <laughs> No shoes on my feet And I just barely gotta use Cadillac Now ain't that get up for ya mm. I feel like maybe I don't know enough about R. Kelly To really be able to understand where he's coming from here As far as I know Famous for a long time Peeing on girls in his early 30s. But who knows? I don't know. It's a very... It's almost... This is kind of making me uncomfortable. Because of how serious this is. But somehow it's got to change. What? See what I'm talking about here? Now he's just standing in front of this... Batmobile. Like, yeah, something's got to change. Like, he wants to get out of his circumstance. He wants to find success. But this just feels kind of random, you know? He's just like, well, how can we tie this into the Batman movie? Fuck, let me stand in front of the Batmobile. And I love that it has, like, the 90s music video thing where it's, like, just plain white backgrounds and people just moving in front of it. That was a thing. I feel like that was a thing for a while, too. Oh, yeah. So I took this remix and rearranged Gotham City City of Love Gotham City of Love That's his way out That's his, his way out of poverty It's love, it's passion It's finding something for yourself In the aspiration, in the dream Where you would like to be you would like to be a wealthy rapper standing in front of a Batmobile. You know? All this black and white footage of these people in the ghetto, of people that are poor, juxtaposed with him, with some fly ladies, and Batmobiles. Love will, love will find him there. You know, passion will find him there. He needs inspiration, right? Maybe that's what we could think about love as inspiration something that gives us wings takes us to the Wayne Tower a city of peace for every one of us. Gotham City is not a city of peace so this is weird <laughs> if you know anything about comic books or even have seen a Batman movie Gotham City not exactly a city of peace maybe he's envisioning himself as Batman though right maybe he is batman and maybe he's gonna turn gotham city into this kind of place of success and 
opportunity for everybody. Maybe that's the vision here. Maybe that's the headspace of R. Kelly right now. Let's continue. Cause we all need it. Okay, so again, he's referring to Gotham City as some sort of beacon of hope, um, which goes against every notion of the actual Gotham City as we understand it from the films and the comic books. I don't, you know, something tells me R. Kelly doesn't didn't really invest a lot in understanding uh, the lore of Batman. Just, I don't know, just a suspicion, let's call it. Get old fabulous to a healthy hazardous. If you want to test ravenous for the respect, S T R I N G S, yes. The rest give me the best. Why should I have to settle for less when I can push V12 to finesse and all that mess? Like, what is that? What is she talking about? This is so disconnected from what it's what it's uh, <laughs> what it's about, or not what it's about. Uh, whatever Batman is, you know, I expected a little bit more from you, R. Kelly. I expected something maybe. I don't know, at least on point, right? I thought we were going to be singing about Batman. Maybe there'd be a lot of literal stuff. Um, we could have a lot of laughs, a lot of gaffes. I don't know. I don't know if I can upload this. You can try to hold me back, but I keep on trucking till I hit the sky. Even if you wanted to, you can't deny. Gotta feed, baby girl, you will die. We keep talking about escalating. What? Okay, we talk about escalating. So now we've just had this dual kind of perspective. We've had the perspective now of R. Kelly and also his lady friend, and there's a sense of escalation. So escalation and action to become who you want to be, to be the hero, to be the Batman. Well, who's going to go first? Guess I'll be the one to step up. If you don't follow me, it would be the worst. Yeah, so he envisions himself as a hero bringing people almost like a, like a Batman figure, but also almost like a Moses type figure, bringing his people out of oppression, out of poverty, going to the city on the hill to this Camelot, as I've referred to it a few times. Every time something goes down, somebody's crying, get off tears. Somebody's crying ghetto kid. Is that what he said? Every time something's going down, somebody's crying ghetto kid. Like, I understand what he's saying. Like, I I get it. I just find this wildly inappropriate for the film Batman and Robin. (laughs) You know, say what you will about Batman Forever. That soundtrack, at least feels like appropriate for the movie and the themes and the story you're watching. You know, even Kiss from a Rose, even Seals, Kiss from a Rose. Like, you could make the argument that, like, there is something that is thematically connected. There's some tissue connection there. You know? In terms of uh, Dr. Chase Meridian and Bruce Wayne. I don't know. Call me old-fashioned. I don't know. I like one of my movie tie-in songs. Remind me of the movie. Hope I'm not raining on your parade. But this is not what keeping it real is. So for him, keeping it real is to be like some brutal honesty, some tough love. He's like, listen, I'm a Batman like figure. I am telling you these things. I'm saying, well, listen, stop doing what you're doing. You know, this could be considered in today's environment. This could be the song could be considered mildly racist. Self-loathing, if you will. Uh, The idea, the notion in the modern era in 2020, when I'm recording this, that uh, your circumstances that you're born into aren't enough. 
and that you should strive to be better than your environment? No, 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 R. Kelly. Not cool. Now wave that ghetto for ya. But somehow it's got to change it. Got to change it. I like that it's just this Batmobile fucking cruising through this ghetto. Through this tenement. That's uh... a... <laughs> That is something else. There's a some what what would I say cognitive dissonance going on between uh, what this is for and what this is. Ghetto for ya. Ain't that ghetto for you? What what is ghetto for you? Is it is it ghetto that like you don't understand where you're coming from, R. Kelly, R. Kelly Batman, that the people don't just respond to you and your message like well enough? Is that is that what we're getting at? Is that what we're saying? I mean, you know, this Batmobile goes to this kind of neighborhood. Like, this thing is going to get stripped. If this thing stops, I mean, it's over. Game over, everybody. And that's not some sort of weird statement. I'm just saying, reality. Okay, you ever see The Wire? Listen, white people, go watch The Wire. Because uh, <laughs> that's a joke. So I took this remix and rearranged I've got them sitting. Okay, so this, is this a remix? Is this a previous song that he has now just thrown the words Gotham City into? Is he just telling us that he's like, Listen, I was kind of lazy. Listen, listen, just kind of lazy. Like Gotham City of Love. I keep going back. Is, this, I, is that the dream? Is that what you're getting at? Because Gotham City is not a city of love, okay? Quite a pained city. A lot of uh, contention. A lot of strife in Gotham City. This R. Kelly guy doesn't know what he's talking about. A city of peace. Now, this Hype Williams guy, the guy who directed this music video, has won a ton of awards, like seven or eight awards, um, some MTV-related, some not, for his directing. This has got to be one of the laziest fucking music videos I have ever seen. Like, why? Like, you should have just gave this to Eminem and Method Man. Uh, they did a better, like, more appropriate, like, Batman-themed music video than this fucking song. Honestly, I'm a little shocked. I thought we were going to get something a little sillier, maybe a little lighter. But this is... Uh, this is like a stereotype. It's like a fucking meme of who you might think R. Kelly is. Very bizarre. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotham, Gotham City, City for the ghetto. For the ghetto. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Gotham City for the ghetto. I mean, like, if it made sense, I would be okay with it. If he was saying something here that, like, made sense, but this, it's, like, kind of just nonsensical. He's just kind of throwing it out there. And, you know, I think my read is actually probably more accurate. It's not as jokey as these reads generally are. Generally, I'm just vamping, having a good time. But I think I'm actually probably pretty close to his actual intention. <laughs> Which is scary. A little terrifying that I am able to crawl inside the ma mind of a man like R. Kelly. I'm out here fucking, fucking trying for my life. Fucking trying to kill me. Now, and now we have this. Now we're going to, okay, now we get this dual perspective again. Perspective. And she's hanging off the back of the Batmobile. They got this Batmobile. They must have had it for a hot day and a half. And they're like, we're going to use this thing, okay? Yo, you want to sit in front of the Batmobile? Let's go. Check it out. Now I'm going to act surprised because you're afraid to change, scared to rise. That's why you're getting left behind. Out of sight. Like, this is the kind of music video that you can make in your house. You know, 
fair, fair, fair enough. Like 1996, 97, whenever this was filmed, I guess this was cutting edge, but you could do this in your fucking house. I could do this tomorrow. Uh, almost like obviously would not have access to a Batmobile or a Hollywood quality Batman suit, but the actual particulars of the video is not very dynamic. This is kind of a, and it, and they probably got paid tons of money to do this too. This is unacceptable. This is just not creative. You know, this is kind of boring. And uh, R. Kelly is just not bringing it. He's not bringing the fire. He's not bringing the heat. Out of mind, cause ain't nobody gonna stop the dream. Talk that, block my cream. Negativity, you got to let go. Have a got to see. We all need it. We all need it. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-huh. <laughs> got them city for the kitchen. Yeah. That's right. Print it. That's a poster right there. R. Kelly just like going through the ghetto in a Batmobile. Holy shit. How can people not just be full of resentment? Like, how did he not just get his fucking car egged? People just throwing shit at him. Calling on heaven to see your love now to the ghetto. I mean, does that even really even make sense? He's just kind of throwing phrases out there at this point. Like, I get this idea. I understand what he's saying. He just keeps saying the same thing over and over again. Now, we all we had a good time. We laughed about bluest, d- deepest bluest shark fin, but at least that had layers. It kept going. There was something new every ten seconds in that song. Like I, I honestly, as we've been doing these, I've grown in respect. For L. Cool J's deepest blue is shark fin. I actually respect that song way more now. Uh, just because it is like a guy who is hired to do a thing and then he does it. I kind of like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Talking about a land where. Oh, yeah. Well, there will be. No more crying now. A place where we can all just get along. A place that we can all get along is not Gotham City. And I know you're going to say it, but it is not Gotham City. Holy shit, guy. Fucking do at least something. Like, somebody should have told him. Like, how can all of this happen? Producers, movie executives. All of these things happen around him, and nobody's just like, yo, Gotham City is actually not a great place to live. There's fucking, uh, it's even in the Schumacher movies, right? There's guys with, like, fucking glow-in-the-dark neon paint. Um, they roam around the city at night, and they beat people up. Yeah. And children will sing a love song. Sing, y'all. Smile. In a land where a city of love love, children will sing songs like this is (laughs) this is a song written by a man that is so like disconnected with any sense of reality, like just so completely out of touch with anything that actually goes on in regular people's lives, like just no concept. And and he just thinks this is poetry. It really speaks to the shallowness and the vapidness of the 90s. Not to say that culture hasn't escalated that, but there was the 90s were such a simple time. You know, this could be passed off as deep. Now we just we consume these things with the knowledge intellectually. This is awful. This is garbage, but I like it anyways. That's what people do nowadays. Back then, people were just like, shit, fuck yeah, dude. Shit, let the children sing. Heaven, city, whatever. Wow. Astounding. Like, shockingly weird. Let's just sit here and talk about this for a second. I think this screenshot right here 
embodies like everything about the song that is weird and wrong. I mean, where do you even begin? I mean, first of all, not a great song. Like the song as we've listened to the other few songs we've listened to, like at least had something to them. Even like the P Diddy Godzilla song, right? The song itself is very simple. Not that interesting. Kind of just repeats itself over and over and over again. Does not feel thematically coherent with the movie. But the music video had a lot to offer. A lot to talk about in the music video itself. This this song, Gotham City, uh, is completely disconnected. It's completely incoherent. Has nothing to do with anything related to Batman. The lore, the movie that it's on the soundtrack of. Just, I don't even understand. Like, I don't understand how this happens. Why does this exist? Like, this is, I guess, this is capitalism. (laughs) I mean, R. Kelly, I guess, a hot commodity at the time. Most likely, I'm assuming. I don't know. I was not like an. I'm not an R&B guy. I, I was not, especially not back then. Maybe nowadays I'd be like a little bit more like adult. Be like, well, yeah, it's a good song. It's well written. But no, this is just this is boring, kind of incoherent, um, just kind of like empty platitudes. It's like this is the kind of song that reminds me of like uh, modern politicians. Like R. Kelly is like a Joe Biden esque figure. In this song, just these these weird empty platitudes, uh, but that actually don't make sense upon interrogation. I don't know. I can't vouch for this one. I can't. This was not as much fun as the other ones, and I'm kind of bummed about it. I'm torn whether or not I should even upload this because it is not. There just wasn't a lot to sink our teeth into. R. Kelly, you really let me down. You really let me down. We'll see. If you see this, tell me if you thought it was worth it. Uh, And also, if you have any recommendations, any Hot Reacts only material out there, I'm creating a playlist so that I have for reference. And uh, please, let me know. All right. Goodbye.